What's up, guys? This is Kefis. Welcome back to WoW Classic Leveling, everyone. I decided to take a break from Duskwood for a little bit and come back to Westfall, and for some reason, I just got a really big dose of nostalgia. Like, it's it's kind of crazy. It's a combination of, like, I my wife just, like, lit a candle, and it, that smell, coupled with this game, it's weird, but it, like, just set off my nostalgia. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. I don't know how to explain it, but, like, it just brought back memories of playing this back when I was living with my parents still and I was in college. I don't know. It's wild. I love when that, that happens. It kind of happens a lot with this game. It's kind of cool, but uh, I love this game so much because, like, I still I still have so much fun with it even now. Like, I've been... Like, honestly, I've been... This is, like, the third... No, this is the fourth... Like, this is probably the most I've recorded WoW Classic in one day, like, episodes. And uh, I've been having so much fun that I've just kept going. Like, it's just been, I don't know why. Like, it's just been a lot of fun just talking about God knows what and playing this game. And I really appreciate you guys for checking it out. So, I thought we'd break up the uh, the grind, though. Like, just the killing of the wolves and all that stuff. And uh, the, the graveyard and doing all that. And just coming over here, getting a different bit of scenery. We're going to sneak into Moonbrook and do this quest, The Legend of Stalvin. I don't know if we'll do the whole quest line, but I thought we'd at least try to do one quest. These guys are all pretty weak, so I'm not too scared, but uh, I don't remember what's waiting for me in here. I think there's going to be like a spirit that shows up and creeps me out, so uh, we will see what happens. But uh, yeah, you go in here. I feel like there's a ghost here, and uh, I don't see it. Let's see if, if I got to click on something. Uh, I, I feel like I should be scared. Is it this uh, box of parts? I don't know if this is what I'm supposed to click on or not, but... Uh, I got coarse blast. No, that's not it. Um, let me see. Is something over here? Sometimes you have these items that you have to click on, but they don't show up. So I'm kind of looking here, trying to figure it out. Gosh, this is where I need like somebody around that knows what the heck they're doing because I have no idea. I feel like there's something in here. I feel like a spirit shows up or something. I don't even know. Is there something I have that does anything? Let's see. Oh, no, there it is. Uh, old Foot Locker. There it is. Now, there she is. There's the ghost. I don't even know if you're supposed to fight this lady, but I remember they state it shows up. Uh, it's not hostile, so, yeah. See, so, oh, crap. It, uh, man, it, it polymorphed me. Jerk. Hey, at least I got my dots off on it before, <laughs> before it did that. And my Void Walker's taking care of the rest of it. Hey, jerk. Boy, it's nice to be a Void Walker. <laughs> <laughs> okay, took took that down. That was kind of cool. So we got another quest, continuing the legend of Stalvin. Where does it want me to go? Uh, take uh, leather to clerk Deltry. Let me see. Is that somewhere around here? Doubt it. It's probably back in Duskwood. Oops, sorry. I was just like right on the microphone there. Okay, yeah. So that's all the way back in Duskwood. So we're going to do a little bit of running around today. I uh, apologize, but uh, hey, it's part of the fun. So I came over here, just thought I'd change up the pace and do that quest. Got us uh, like 3%, 3% <laughs> of a level, so not a lot of experience, but uh, it continues on the quest line. It's a fun, kind of a fun, memorable quest line. Like I said, I don't know if it's worth doing the whole thing. Uh, plus, I'd have, I think I had to get a group for part of it, so I don't know how that's going to work. But uh, my plan now is we're going to run back over to the graveyard uh, in Raven Hill. And um, I always get that confused with Razor Hill, but the, the graveyard in Duskwood. Turn that quest in for a good amount of experience. And uh, we'll, we'll maybe fight some there, maybe get some grinding in. Uh, you know, and uh, yeah, we're out of rested XP, but that's okay. We'll get more. We'll, we'll, we'll rest up some after this. Is a, get me uh, plenty of time to rest up on that XP. It's, it's actually kind of nice. Uh, the cool thing about a you know leveling series like this is that uh, in my downtime, I can let that rested XP build back up. For the most part, almost through the entire series, we have been playing on rested XP, which means basically you get double experience. So I let that build up to max, and then once it's at max, I record more episodes, and that's kind of how it works. And uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. But then, you know, you have days like today where you're just feeling it. Like, bro, I want to do some WoW Classic leveling, so let's do it. <laughs> so, yeah, it's actually not too far of a run. Oh, also, I don't have as much money as I had. I spent like half my gold. Probably not the right thing to do. Probably not the most recommended thing to do. But 
Uh, either that's a group of people or that's a multi-boxer. Probably a group of people, but that's still kind of cool. Um, but if you notice, I have 62 empty slots in my bag now. So I got some 14-slot bags. They were all selling for like 2 gold and 80 silver a piece, which didn't seem like that was that bad. Uh, for the convenience of having the bag space, I know I should be saving up for a mount. Well, I guess as a warlock, I don't really need a mount. But either way, saving up for gold, having a mount for other characters. I can save up the gold for my other characters. Because, like, I've been making tons and tons of gold just by selling leather and, and ore. It's crazy how much. I actually have a bunch of stuff up on the auction house now that will hopefully make me a decent amount of, of gold. I might even make all that gold I just spent back. So, and I have, like, 25 gold. So, and I'll, you know, obviously, like, I like to buy up some gear to keep myself, you know, like, at a good, easy pace, you know, kind of thing. So, uh, but it's definitely worth trying to get the gold for the mount. So, I might be making mistakes, but either way, I have 62 slots, empty slots in my bag now, which should make things a little bit either easier, especially as a warlock, because, uh, dang, like, it has been crazy. Also, we don't need, we don't need these, um... These don't, these don't sell for much, and I didn't even mean to get those anyways. That, that takes up two slots. So actually, we have 64 slots. <laughs> Empty slots now. So we are back here. I don't know where Stitches shows up. You know, he could show up. I don't even know if it's at the bridge, if it's like halfway through or what. But uh, we're not going to we're not gonna deal with him. I'm not going gonna, gonna to even try. Uh, we already saw him once, but just being back here makes me nervous. So, um, yeah. So we'll go up here. Like, we're 54% we're, uh, in. Turn this quest in, get some more XP, and then maybe just farm some skeletons here or something like that. Something just to farm up a little bit, get a little bit more experience in. I don't know if we'll get a full, or if we'll get the rest of that today. But uh, next episode, we'll go back and farm some more wolves, and then maybe we'll think about going to a different zone. But we need to talk to this fellow here. Uh, look at that. Not, not bad. Not bad experience. Return to Sven with Jitters. Uh, okay, so we gotta go talk to Sven up there. There's also this quest down here, getting the monocle, but I always skip that one. <laughs> I don't know why. I was like, eh, it's, you know, they're they're high level and it's all the way out of the way down there. I never did that quest. I think I did it like once and you have to go inside a cave and it's it was like hard. So if it's hard, is it really worth the time? I don't know. Each, each person has to decide what, what's worth their time, I guess. But uh, yeah. Okay, so we're going to go up this way now. Kill some skeletons. We'll just work our way up to Sven. And uh, yeah, well, then we'll head back to town and uh, turn that Stalvin quest in. That honestly, uh, for a little bit, it's like not bad XP. It just depends on. I forget what all you had to do. I just remember it was kind of cool because it had me going all over the place. Uh, and honestly, like if there's a bunch of like, I feel like it's a longer quest line, and it just has you going around talking to people. I think I feel like that's what it was. If that's the case, I'll go do the bunch of that off screen and then see where it leads. But. Uh, yeah, it's no no big deal. But uh, I don't do I don't do travel episodes very often, you know, like where you just kind of watch me run around. But uh, you know, I thought it'd be fun to just run over there real quick, do that, uh, see how it went. And honestly, it really didn't take it didn't even take that long. Oh, cool! Oh, these guys drop rot blossoms. Sweet. Okay, here's what we're doing. We do have a purpose here. We're gonna farm up some rot blossoms. If we don't get them all here. We can do some over the other. There's skeletons over there by town. So uh, whatever we don't get here, we'll get we'll get later for sure. Um, but, uh, okay, cool. Wait, we have a purpose now. I thought rot blossoms were things you had to pick up off the ground. So, we can we can farm rot blossoms. So, it's not entirely, you know, we're not just randomly killing things. I actually got two of them already. That was kind of cool. I was not expecting that. So, uh, but yeah, man, I've been having crazy amounts of fun with this game. Like, I do so much enjoy playing classic. I don't even know what it is. But, like, it's just the, the long-term goal. Just the... <laughs> Just the fun of it, just the, the pace. The pace is very chill. I hope those things don't try to attack me, because oh, I thought they were about to attack me. That was really scary. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just like the pacing of it, just the, the just the fun. I mean, you know, nostalgia, I you know, sometimes I get those. I, honestly, I don't feel that consistently, but every now and then I'll have a moment. I'll have a moment of nostalgia. I think it, like that happens with a lot of games. I mean, even retail, like, heck, I, you know, like, I'll be playing like Final Fantasy 14 and I'll get nostalgia from that game because it for one has things from other Final Fantasy games references to them in it and that's like oh nostalgia but also because I've played that game in the past and I'll have like oh yeah I remember when I first did this like it's kind of crazy when that happens like you just get those nostalgic moments so like it's it's weird sometimes I'll play one game and it, it will give me nostalgia for another game like 
it's kind of weird how that how that works but like it's always good like it's crazy how much like how much you just like how much video games can serve as memories just like anything else can like it's 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 really crazy like you know because like i've been playing um uh, ghosts of tsushima uh the game is awesome by the way that game is it's probably i don't know man because like cyberpunk hasn't come out yet and i think that game might be pretty sweet but i don't know for me personally if it's going to be if it's going to be ghost of tsushima ghost of tsushima i can't ever say that right ghost of tsushima is one it's a game i've been wanting for a long time like i love games where you get to basically be like a like some type of you know ancient warrior like a samurai i kind of liked um assassin's creed uh, odyssey because i like being a spartan like basically like a spartan warrior basically like you're you know you're a, a warrior from the i guess the peloponnesian era uh greek warrior i mean i think there's like i would much prefer it if uh the Sucker Punch made a Spartan game like they made Ghost of Tsushima. Like, it's a, you're a Japanese samurai. Dude, just make a game from any era and be any warrior and make it just like that and it's going to be fun. Like, you know what I would like? Because, like, I might have mentioned this in another another episode or another video. But, like, there's a, there's a, actually a type of game that I would like that I've never seen done. Like, ever. Ever. Um, but I'd like to see a game where you play as like a scottish highlander and like the music has like cool bagpipe war scottish bagpipe music all over the place and you're just like running around with a giant scottish claymore or whatever and you got like a kilt on and you're like this big awesome red-headed bearded dude that's ready to screw everything up and like just win every fight <laughs> like liberate your land from the from the from the empire I don't know. A game, honestly, a game just like Ghost of Tsushima, but where you're a Scottish dude, uh, you're like in Scotland, or at least a fantasy version of Scotland, and you're like liberating, you know, the, the your land from the Empire. That would be awesome. I would love, like, I would love that game. That game would be my favorite game ever. Like, I, because like I said, I don't think I've ever known a game like the closest that I've ever come are like Dwarves in WoW, where I get to play a Scottish dude. Like the like the Scottish dude from uh, Samurai Jack, <laughs> that guy was awesome. But something like that would be cool. Like just some crazy, uh, like just some awesome Scottish big dude. Cause like I guess that's 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 my ancestry. So like I maybe that's why I'd like to see that. Just cause, but also because I think it's cool. Cause I like the movie Braveheart, <laughs> and I like the music, um, like the kind of music. I don't know. I just like everything about that. But that just be something unique and different. But like I'm kind of excited for the um, kind of excited. Like I. It seemed the the cool thing like about like I'm not a big fan of like well let me try that again I like Assassin's Creed games um, they're very Assassin's Creedy <laughs> if that makes sense like they're they're fine they're not the best games ever but they're not I don't think they're as bad as a lot of people say they are I like you know the settings like I like it, it's kind of cool uh, you know like the next one where you're gonna be a Viking sounds awesome you kind of know what you're getting though because it's an Assassin's Creed game. So it's not going to be all that unique, but it just the setting kind of sounds cool. Um, but like, I just like, you know, getting to be in different eras, you know, that kind of things. It's just kind of cool. So like, you know, getting to see someone like, like, I guess, I, th I think I got the name right. Sucker Punch. Um, the Ghost of Shishima is, is a really cool, unique game in that way. Like getting to be, you know, a samurai and telling a cool story and the setting and everything about it. Just awesome. So like. Great game. I don't even know what made me think about that, but just, like, I've been having a lot of fun with a lot of different games, and, like, I know that, like, you know, even, like, next year, I'll have nostalgia for that game, because, like, it's it's one of those games that, you know, like, at least to me, I feel like it's great. I feel like it's it's, it's certainly way better than The Last of Us 2, I can tell you. <laughs> I can tell you that right now. But it's, it's definitely, like, uh, for PlayStation, probably their best game, one of their best games ever. Like, it's, in my opinion, certainly for the PlayStation 4, it's definitely a a good swan, swan song for the PS4, you know? But, I mean, I think that... I don't know, man. I think that Sucker Punch is on to something. I think they could... I think they could make more games, you know, that are made similarly, but from different, you know, different timelines or different different cultures. I think that would be cool. I'd play the crap out of it. I don't know about you guys, but I would. I think it would be awesome. So, yeah. Anyways, that's a pretty fun game. Let's keep killing... We need one more Rot Blossom. Like, seriously. Just one more, and we're good. So we're gonna try to get that, and then we'll go talk to uh, talk to Sven. I don't know. I can never say his name right. Sven, and uh, 
Sven <laughs> and finish that up. And then, yeah, we're, we're, I don't know. Where do you guys think we should go next? Dang it, no Rob Blossom. Where do you guys think we should go next after, like, when we get, oh, there's that, they don't even drop them. Cool. That does, but I'm getting nervous over here because I don't want to pull something I don't want to pull. Um, what zone should we go to next? Because we are level 27 and we're getting decent experience here. It's a little slower because I don't have the rest of the XP, but it's okay. Um, but should we go, should we stay here for a little bit longer? I think I want to try to get a couple more quests done, at least kill the wolves. Um, you know, maybe look at what Stalvin wants me to do. <laughs> and, uh, man, I just want to finish this. I just want to get this one last rock blossom. Like, come on, bro. Um, but I definitely want to get the wolf quest done. I don't think that'd be too hard because they're like right here. They're right by town. I like any quest where it's near town. That's always the best. Um, but I, you know, then we'll either be going, well, we don't want to go to, we certainly, I don't even know if I ever want to go to Stranglethorn. Uh, if I have a lot of gold and it's really cheap, I might buy the, the Green Hills pages. There we go. We finally got it. Uh, and go turn those in just cause it'd be easy XP and they're cheap. Um, but I don't know where to go next. I don't know if, um, maybe we can go to wetlands. I don't know if uh, that's a good place to level up. I know it's, I'm at that level range. I'm a little bit higher, so I would have to do some of the later quests. Or I could stay here and grind. Um, or I could go back to Kalimdor. I don't even know where I'd go at this level. I'd have to go look and see. I'm not even sure. And then at level 30, I'm not sure where to go. Uh, it's weird. It's, it feels like it's easier for me to make these decisions for the Horde than it is the Alliance. Because like I feel like the game wants me to go to Stranglethorn, and I do not like going to Stranglethorn. Uh, but I will, whatever you guys, you guys let me know in the comments below uh, where you think I should go next. Let's see, kill Skeletal Raiders, Skeletal Healers, and Skeletal Warders. Oh, that's these guys. Eee, this is not This is kind of a scarier place, isn't it? It's, uh, I don't know. I feel like these guys, like it gets crazy here. And then it wants me to kill these Plague Spreaders. It wants me to kill 20 of those things. I could do it. I don't know. Maybe we'll do that. I don't know. We'll, we'll come back over this way. But first, we're going to go back over to that side. Uh, but yeah, you guys let me know in the comments below what area you'd like to see me go to. What zone should I go to next? Where should we go next? Um, I'm all down for your guys' feedback and suggestions. As always, I always like hearing feedback. So you guys let me know in the comments below. And I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, let me know by clicking that like button. And feel free to share it with your friends so they can enjoy it as well. Don't forget, you can subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to be notified as soon as new videos are posted. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and if you'd like, you can support this channel on Patreon. Links to all of this can be found in the description below. This is Kefis, until next time.